morning, Peter. Problems? Your turn this week. <laughs> and yours. <laughs> oh yeah. Fish. I've got the alternative machine this morning. Yeah, the gears keep slipping. Oh. And it's raining as well. I've already taken this off once this morning. <laughs> I put it back on. It's bloody warm, I but know. it's uh, a bit drizzly. It's, it's not ideal. This is the worst weather we've had on one of our yes. adventures. Yeah. It's supposed to get better later on. Yeah, but then have you checked the forecast when we're coming back? No. Not ideal. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good morning and welcome back to another video. We're off to Charmouth today on the south coast to meet a few of Pete's friends. Um, yeah. I'm on the alternative machine which has been seized up in the shed since winter. I've done a little bit of maintenance but it did sound a bit awful coming over. Yet again, a bike mechanic's dream. <laughs> Why won't my local bike shop these services? They're refusing to do services. I get it but... Yeah, don't know. But my bike is suffering. Yeah, I do my own so my bike's suffering because I do my own. That's a different matter. Would you like to do mine? <laughs> <laughs> I can do yours, you bring it over. Today could be a long video. I've been off quite a lot of video in the last two videos where I could have made at least three videos. So I'm going to see if I can make this into three videos. And there'll be one today, one Monday, one Tuesday. So a three part adventure, because I think it's going to be a long day. Uh, Peter, yeah. this is Ham Hill. It's your favourite climb, isn't it? You know I don't like this hill. <laughs> what are we doing up, going up here? And this is like a little mound compared to some of the climbs later on. <laughs> I don't mind the mounds later on, I just don't, for some reason, don't like this one. Anyway, see you at the top. I want to show you the road you, you had us planned to come out because I think it's uh, hilarious. Um, and if you haven't seen the We Got Trapped in Langport video, go back and watch it because it was hilarious. It rained a little bit that day, didn't it? <laughs> it? It did rain a little bit that day. And just over this bridge, we were, we were stuck. But let me show you the road that Pete had us planned to come down. It looks even better trying to get through there when there's three foot of water underneath. <laughs> even if it wasn't wet, it would have been a bit soggy on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not my best route carrying that. That is great. <laughs> yeah, this is what this road looks like without water. <laughs> yeah, this is new for me. All right, we've just stopped in Stembridge. Just take our jackets off. We're now uh, in our kit. It's very warm this morning, even if it is a little bit threatening still. But Jackie's now in the back pocket, so fingers crossed the sun comes out. And the question is, whose bike's making the most noise, Pete? <laughs> it's a good competition, actually. <laughs> uh, yours is pretty good. To be fair, they're quite even, actually. <laughs> yeah, going on a 140-odd kilometer bike ride is not exactly the best road test for a bike you've just prepared. No, <laughs> there's going to be no... Well, normally we sprint at bridges to get the points. We're a bit scared. I'm not sprinting today because I'm worried my neck is going to snap. we got 99 bike problems. We're back in the jungle, Pete. Oh, this sand up the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> there was huge piles oh, me back there. I couldn't actually down. film. Oh, oh, and it's steep. Um, let me put the camera away. Where are we, Pete? <laughs> Literally in the jungle. We passed a mountain biker. We, we're on the wrong route. We're on the wrong bike again. <laughs> Do we have commute set to road biking or motor biking? <laughs> where are we anyway? I have no idea where we are. We got lost. I have not a clue. We're on nearly beach because it's so much sand. <laughs> there is. <laughs> it can't get any worse. All right, we just figured out we're in Dinnington, which means the route that was planned wasn't actually commute's fault or Pete's fault, but yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> because I didn't want the loop to cross over. 
So I suggested a change and this was the change. What did you call yourself? A snob for not wanting to cross <laughs> you the route over on it's, the way down the way back. I said I'm a bit of a tart. I don't like, I like to have a nice perfect loop on my rides. <laughs> I don't like crossovers. So I changed it slightly. So this is my fault. Sorry Pete. That's all right. It was fun. It was fun. Look at the smiles on our faces. <laughs> and now we're back on the um, proper road again. Our bikes sound a lot quieter as well. <laughs> if they make it all the way to Charmouth and back without any mechanicals, it'd be a miracle. Good job on the mechanic. We've emerged from the dark and dankness of those trees, Pete, which is quite epic, and the sun's out. Good job we're going left. Because there's one of those bloody signs again. Someone told me that I could find it. I will find my way. Gotta keep looking. If it's not fair, gotta go again. We still get over it. Because when I look at I was thinking that was the summit of the climb then, Pete, but that <laughs> keeps going. She's by my side. She guides me with the sign. Another one of those signs, Pete. Yeah, we're going left. We are going left. We would have made it through, wouldn't we? I reckon. If we had to. Funny opt it. I keep saying about all these uh, bike problems we've got today, but I've got a revelation. What's that? I found these things called gears. They really help you coming uphill. Well, why didn't I think of it before? You get the change down and it makes it easier to pedal going up a hill. Well, my bike changes gears automatically. <laughs> I don't yeah. have to press anything. <laughs> yeah, they are. That was a bit steep, Pete. Yeah, I have no idea what that climb was, but it was minus 16% for a long time. <laughs> I'm glad we were going down. <laughs> so glad. Points! Right, so we are 50 odd kilometres in. It's headwind and uphill all the way there, so we're not really noticing the headwind because we're going uphill so much. Looking through all the gears. <laughs> and they're even doing it themselves. Nice road so far, really enjoying it. Sounds great, Pete. <laughs> I don't think we're too far away, maybe eight or nine miles. We haven't seen one signpost with Charmouth yet. I saw one for Lone Regis, it's right next to it. I'm not done, I just want me to find it. Cause I'm not done, I just want me to find it. So far we've done 700 meters of climbing. We're still going up. I don't know how close it is, but when you look at the map, the south coast is all downhill, isn't it? <laughs> we all go downhill sometime. That flag ain't big enough. Please tell me that's all the climbing. <laughs> There's another big hill over there. So that's where we are. Peter's Gore. And are we going up the hill? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, that looks very steep in such a short space of time. I think we've worked out that in 56 kilometres, roughly 800 metres, that's pretty much a 2% climb all the way here. That's like what it's felt like anyway. Oh, we climbed, climbed down to the south coast. <laughs> <laughs> it feels that way. It's got to be, it's got to be the top and it's got to be downhill to the coast. It's, it's got to be. Are we going that way, do you reckon? I think it's that way, yeah. yeah. You don't want to go on no, that, that way. Well, <laughs> commute might take us on that one. It's flatter than that one. <laughs> yeah, funny descent, Pete. I quite like that. It was actually, uh, the last descent we had wasn't very um, pleasant surface. And we <laughs> no, that was sweeping and quite fast actually. Yeah. Have we seen the first time for uh, Charmouth? Yeah, we've seen the sea, so it can't be far away. Sorry if we're late, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a bit hilly, although bets on who's going to get there first, that's all them. I still reckon we'll get there first. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. How, how can it not be downhill to the seaside? <laughs> <laughs> this is steep. Oh man, that's 13, 14, 15. One-handed in the wrong gear. 
It doesn't make any sense. We're still not at the top, Pete. 5% gradient, we're still going up. It's flat everywhere, either side of the hill we're on. <laughs> <laughs> I planned this part of the route, so it's my fault. <laughs> There she is. The sea! Yeah, 805 metres to get to the south coast. <laughs> Pete, here we are. Charmouth. You made it. Yeah. Charmouth to be. How was your ride in? Oh, hilly. Hilly? hilly. <laughs> Good, yeah. Tell us about it. <laughs> we feel like we've been climbing uphill all the way here. Yeah? Yeah. Jeez, it's not bad. Let's ride home then. <laughs> yeah, no. well hopefully it'll be downhill on the way home. Nice. It can't be, can't be uphill both ways, can it? <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there we are. Nice coastal background. That's the end of part one. So come back tomorrow, find out what we get up to in Sharmouth and how we get back. The bike's made it this far. Will they make it all the way back? That's another question. So it's 60 odd kilometers here and 800 meters of climbing. So it's been a bit of a epic ride just to get here and we've got to go home yet. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you again in about five minutes. But for you, it'll be tomorrow. Hope you know. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>